Hello my lovelies, I hope that you guys are all doing amazing. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Charlotte Whiting. I am a special effects and normal makeup artist. I'm kind of new to this whole YouTube thing, um, I'm still learning but I'm having so much fun at creating these videos for you guys. So if you could hit the subscribe button that would mean so much to me. Um, and yeah, let me know what else you want to see. My Instagram is Charlotte Whiting Makeup and my TikTok is just Charlotte Whiting. So go and follow me on there to see lots more looks. So today I'm going to be showing you the difference between silicone um, false special effects cuts and um, skin wax um, special effects cuts. So there is a huge difference between the two. Silicone is a paste. Skin wax is like a plastic, I'd want to say. Um, so I'm going to show you the benefits of both and the cons of both and how they look the same. So I'm going to be doing the cuts on my arm. So trigger warning, there are going to be cuts on my arm with, with fake blood. Um, so, you know, if you're squeamish with any of that, just to let you know, maybe this video is not for you. I don't want to upset anyone with this. Um, my special effects makeup is just for entertainment and learning purposes. So, let's get into it. Hello guys, it is voiceover Charlotte here. This is the silicone that I'm using today, silicone A and B. Put them both together in a plastic bowl with some wooden spoons. You can get both of them from Amazon. So making sure to put an equal amount of both A and B into the pot together. I'm now going to start mixing it together. It is very important that unless it's in your plastic bowl that you don't let silicone A and B touch because if it gets in the pot that it comes in you will then ruin all of your paste so it's very important to keep them separate apart from when you're using it. So this is the sort of paste that you want to be left with then put it straight onto the arm making sure it's all even and smooth down on my skin so the benefits of using silicone as a cut is it's very, very easy to work with. It looks very similar to your own skin, um, but you do have to work very quickly before it starts to turn lumpy and into a paste. So once I'm happy with the depth, I'm then going in with my spatula to create the cuts and make sure that it's all completely smoothed out. So there we go, once the cut is made, I'm using a hairdryer to completely dry the cut. Then going in with some translucent powder and patting that all over the cut. And then I'm going to go over and dust it all over. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same as my own skin once it's been um, powdered over. Now using Snazaru black and red paints, using the black in the very depth of the cuts to make it look deep. Then using the red and going in over that, obviously, to make it look like the blood. So just dabbing that all over. Then I'm using the Ben Nye Scar Blood and putting that all into the middle of the cut. I want this to be a fresh cut, so I'm not going to put it around the outside. Just um, patting it all down to make it look as real as possible. And that is the first silicone cut done now going with the scar wax i'm putting a layer of latex down just to make sure that the wax will stick using the krylon sign wax and warming that up on my hands like so letting the latex dry completely before i put the wax down and then kind of repeating the same process of making sure that it is all completely stuck down and even onto my skin. Having the middle of the cut a higher up so that you can tell the cut is deeper. But making sure that it is completely smoothed down onto my skin. The benefits of using skin wax is that it's easy to work with. You have as much time as you need. You just don't want to get it overheating because then it's going to stick everywhere. But once it's down, I'm putting another layer of latex over after using some Vaseline to completely smooth it all out and then drying it off once more. Then creating my cut again using my spatula, making sure that it's nice and deep. And then going back in and doing the same process with all the blood using black and red snazaroo paint. This time I am... Um, dabbing it out around the cut to make it look a little bit more realistic and make sure that the um, wax looks completely blended into my skin and then going back in with my blood putting it back into the center 
and again just smoothing that all out I think that silicone lasts a lot longer than sign wax. Um, sign wax will come off and lift, whereas silicone is completely on your skin. So for longer wearing, you want to use silicone. But for more realistic and you have longer time to sort of play about with it, you want to use sign wax. And now here is the removal. Very, very satisfying. So I hope you guys enjoy this bit. Oh, look at that. So satisfying. I love it. <laughs> it's always my favourite part it's just so satisfying to watch and it feels so satisfying as well and then doing the same with the silicone and some of it flings off into my room and then just using a makeup wipe to remove the rest and there we go my lovelies i hope you guys um have learned a little bit from this video i hope that you really enjoyed watching um for editing this is going to be my first time trying to do a voiceover um so i'm sorry if it wasn't great um still learning still practicing the editing um but yeah follow me over on my tiktok it is charlotte whiting my over on my instagram which is charlotte whiting makeup i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you all later